Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Squadron Tower Defense playlist. Today bringing you an Adrenaline Chaos 3X game. Without further ado, let's have some fun playing Squadron Tower Defense. Alright, good first choice. I've mentioned this in the past, I don't think this uh, Astromech is worth it. I think it's kind of a cute get. Like 105 minerals in the early game is a lot. So to spend 105 on a, so a purely support unit, and I mean a unit that 100%, just like the uh, these three, these three units are pure support units. So they don't do any damage in and of themselves. Completely unable to do damage. So. That's just not gonna get it done. So it, it's not gonna get it done. So Alrighty, um, looking at what's next. Mm, I typically don't gas, but uh, since I'm not the wave leader next wave, I'm actually just going to go ahead and gas. I don't think I have anything to be worried about, so. Obviously, they can send a Titan Shadow and stuff like that, but I'm saying, like, I don't think there's anything for me to worry about. And I feel better playing from a position of uh, advantage in terms of the gas. Uh, just so that I know that I'm building more in terms of value to the maximum. Uh, round after round. Okay, cool. And I also got the shadow passive, which is huge. This data android is also really good because you still he is still he's still one shotting all this stuff, which is huge. So this type is what um, light armor. Uh, so what's damage to light is forty four to fifty three. So it'll one shot every single one of these each time, no matter what. So pretty useful. You see there it gets the reassembly and we'll be able to finish it off. So good stuff. Oh man, you can't draw you you cannot draw this up any better. So a full wall of rangers pretty much. Now we got how many got how many five? Yeah, that's that's more than enough. More than enough. This even may be enough to hold the boss. That's how many rangers that is. So. Man, I'm feeling good with that. So. Feels good. Uh, looking at my value, I need to be a little bit careful here. Going in a wave four, honestly, I need to be a little bit careful. Um, I'm going to gas once, but not more than once, I think. Yeah. Because I'm not sure if I need another tank or what, but yeah. Still got his revive, and it's good for now. That damage from the rangers is just so good. I'm gonna gas another time as well because I'll still have enough for one melee upgrade. Good stuff there, and I think this should be able to hold, so that's good as well. Um, I 
Okay, so good stuff here. And I can actually get two more Melia as well. Um, I actually don't think I need it, but at the same time, I don't want to take a risk about it. I can, because I can catch up and gas after. I just want to make sure that we get this done. Because five Melia can do a lot, all the way to wave eight. So if I can set up, get set up on this Melia, it'll be huge. May as well finish gassing as well. Keep gassing from there. Excuse me, Mal. My beautiful girl, Mal, is right in front of the... She's beautiful. I'll get my water bottle out of the way for her. Excuse me. You all right, baby? Hey, good girl. Good girl. Thank you. Thank you. I love her so much. We just saw Lynx earlier, I think, last video. So happy to be around them. Love you, Ma. Love you, Lynx. So I'm sitting on 6-2, going up to 7-2. Uh, I'll even go up to 8-2, actually. I don't think it's actually the biggest deal at this point. Actually, probably shouldn't have gone up to 8-2. That's okay. Yeah. It's so, alright. I get at least one more Melia. So good stuff here. And then a big save for wave 8. So, yeah. I'll stop uh, sending, actually. So I can get extra links for wave 8. Actually, I got no problem even going for a fire bat. Good job. It's actually went a lot better than I thought, so. I think I could gas from here, but I'm not going to take the risk at this point. So, yeah. They're calling GG. Fred has left the game. Okay. Actually, he hasn't left the game. He actually did not leave. It's tricky. All right, um, taking a look here. Could get some Archangels. I mean, they're gonna wipe out. Um, Damon is meant to be a tank. I'm fairly sure. Yeah. So. <sighs> yeah. I'm fairly sure this is literally the correct structure. So yeah. But they're gonna wipe these out. Look how quick it gets down to uh, that health. Mercifully, I think I built enough that it's actually holding up. Yeah, very tough one there. Okay, this is looking good here. So on wave 10, I'm gonna send massive links and that should be good. So on 10-2, which is quite nice, 
And I do think I'll be able to hold the boss, which is really good, so yeah. Also, quite a good amount of tanking. You see, the daemons, they do not last as long as I would like. Um, but they provide some passive tanking, which is nice. And yeah, as you can see here, not easy. Um, the melee is trying to go down, actually. One goes down. Fortunately, these three hold, which is huge. Now from here, I'll have my own decisions to make about what the next uh, appropriate uh, setup is. So, a uh, carrion spitter sounds pretty good. A uh, carrion spitter sounds pretty good for sure. To nightcrawler, I'm saying. Probably an F is best. Because you get some range 5.5, 6.5, or 3, 4, 5, yeah. That's fine. Let's see how this goes. I didn't get any lings, which is huge. Oh, no, I did get some. They came on the other side. Again, these melee are just so good. You see the slow taking effect from the Nightcrawler, and that is going to hold. So that's huge. Huge, huge, huge stuff. good stuff next up here uh, decisions decisions um, I'm gonna complete one of the upgrades here because uh, you know it would have been good to get cyborgs uh, next wave but just how it worked out this time so saying yo look because you gotta get that one upgraded stuff let's see how it goes i don't know if they'll send huge or what but yeah okay nothing too bad just eco send so could be worse for sure and i gotta hold off here on 15 too the daemon's going down the android is about to go down so good stuff all things said this is a nice hold here Oh man, very nice, very nice uh, here. Opportunity to get some rangers. Actually, the, probably the correct choice is to get some sprites. I mean, I think so, because like... Thunderbird, Thunderbird. Yeah, this is definitely probably the correct setup. And then another ranger here, yeah. So. <laughs> Twelve will hit hard, so let's see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Um, alright, alright, here we go. Um, let's come on. Thunderbirds, hold up if you can. They did the best they could. These Melia are doing a good job from the back rank. Man, what a good, uh, good fight there. finish the melee out here as well um just so that going into wave 14 uh i have uh freedom in terms of not having to upgrade anything these thunderbirds were a good get for sure Definitely shout out to them for the SS and everything they're doing there. Um, so I get a Broodlord send. Yeah, Baron Von Loon. 
I like that. Actually, honestly, I'm not going to upgrade yet. 14 is going to hit pretty hard, so let me withstand 14, and then we can go from there. So, yeah. Okay, absolutely no viable tanking has been offered here. Um, but that's okay. Um, man, uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, this is a tough choice. Uh, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go with, um... These Hell Razors, range three and a half. Alright, that sucks. I haven't been sending too crazy, which has been, like, the only thing that's, like kind of been acceptable about the position we've been in this game. These Hellraisers are going to do a little bit, a little bit more right now because we're surrounded. Yeah, nice. Okay, good stuff actually. So, yeah. Nice. And I think they may have leaked. 14 is just so hard. Honestly though, the fact that they haven't been like sending too hard has given me, like I have gassed a ton. Like an absolute ton. And my team is SSing too, which is incredible. Like, this is one of the most fun games I've had playing uh, uh, so far. So, <laughs> playing Squadron Tower Defense, I should say. I'd probably like to finish the uh, Melee first here. It's not as pragmatic, um, uh, but it is. Aesthetically, probably pl pleasing, and it, it's also like somewhat pragmatic. And by pragmatic, I mean like I, I still need more tanking, right? So, getting some more beef on this front line is always a good choice. And uh, so, basically, from here, um, because I know I have that need for beef, uh, it would make sense to get a Thunderbird. Uh, but I also don't mind just going ahead and doing the best I can with the Melia for now as well, um, because it's not like they're not also really important units, so. Oh man, this is crazy. I might end up leaking here. Yeah, and I will. That's tough. So, tough leak incoming. Um, I've done the best I can, so no complaints. All right, um, yep, so here we go. What can I do here? Um, golem, maybe get a golem. Or finish gassing, actually. Why not, you know? This is pretty good unit here. This, uh, finish with, uh, with the gassing, and I uh, you know, hope it holds. This wave is Hellions, right? So probably I'll end up leaking, and can finish the gassing, and go from there. Because gassing it isn't going to be too, too bad here. So, yeah. I mean, the Melia are firing away, so. Again, not going to hold, but I am in a position to. Max up my gas, at least. So that's what's really nice here. You see my income is also quite high. Someone can SS. I mean, I don't personally care who controls the SS. I am just competent at it, so I don't really care. Um, okay, I definitely have to go with the Elite Warden here. Uh, this is actually like my first competent endgame tank, so. You gotta just get it. I don't have another choice at this point, so. Yeah. Good stuff. And I uh, can finish gassing on this upcoming wave here.
Alright, uh, good stuff here. I'm sitting on max gas now, so I'm 100% certain I'll be able to stabilize. And yeah. Honestly, again, if someone wants to control SS, I can go for it. Nice shot, team. Yeah, due to sending brutes on autopilot for sure. Long. Yeah. That's okay. Oh, man. Talk about exactly what you need. Triple crow goth here, and we'll get two thirteen. You think it's worth it? Honestly, it probably is worth it. Is what's crazy. Yeah. I mean, seriously. No, it's okay. Just leave it for now. Yeah, for now, just leave it and uh, go with the captain. Oh, I can't even get one. That's crazy. Whatever. Just leave it for now. Yep. Crow God, there's only one supply, I think, upgrade, right? Yeah. Oh, man, you can't make that get up getting them, Crow Goth, man. That stuff is so good. And with those Crow Goth, I definitely will stabilize, is what's amazing. He's saying drop them bombs. I'm, I'm not dropping any bombs. I'm sending Quill Gore. Happily sending Quill Gore, so... Oh, what a hold. Good stuff there. Alrighty. Um, just upgrade everything here. And you can get Swarm Host. can get a lot of stuff, actually. You get Spawn of Dragon. I mean, anything is fine, honestly, at this point. Spawn of Dragon is probably a very safe choice. So um, No complaints getting Spawn of Dragon, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I think Spawn of Dragon is probably, like, the more immediately safe choice. Uh, I think, like, because I have the opportunity to actually upgrade these units, I'm going to go with um, uh, this uh, Swarm Host for now. Actually, it's fine to throw it on this side, I think. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, let's see how this goes. I mean, you can just see how useful those crow gods are. They do such a good job holding off these lieouts for a long time. And we have got it cleared up. Yep. And with max gas and max everything, it just... Man, does it change the math for us, for sure. 31, okay, they have something there at least, but yeah. And our SS is coming together so well. Of course, I haven't done any SSing, so you can see how, how far ahead my value is getting. Because I'm, I have a ton of income. I mean, look at my income. I'm going to have a thousand income going uh, on the boss wave, so yeah, thousand seven, so. Absolute, uh, and, and look at the chances, man. I mean, what are the odds of this? You can't script this stuff up here. And uh, that's it, man. That is going to get the job done there. I got nothing to say there. With with a wall of Krogoth, my team is looking strong. I have no complaints. The Krogoth wall is holding. And yeah. I got no complaints in the world with a with a wall of crow goth like this. You can just see them shield each other like this. Um, you know, this did not go as well as I wanted, obviously. Um, but the second fatty is being targeted down a little bit, a little bit, and we only have uh, four leaks. So in the end, uh, honestly, not too much at all. too bad at all so again units like swarm host pretty much like anything from here would be good there's so much opportunity with the massive income that i have to make a difference in this game so all right first get this uh, swarm host probably from here the uh a composer isn't a bad idea i mean i don't know what range the composer is range six right Composer. 
get a staccato at range five, a dramaturge. I can uh, still if you merge those later. What's important is I got it for now. Those is really good. Oh, good stuff, man. So. All right, and now uh, what here? Nether Master? Or do I wanna build something different like Shadow Fist? What about Teeters? Get the Heisendongers. Flux. Finish the Starries off. It's quite nice. A wave of Krogoth sounds really good, so. The Krogoth are just not letting anything through, which is what's so amazing. You know, like, that entire front line of beef is just so good. It is just so good. Like, I just can't handle how good this entire front line of beef is. Um, I'm just having so much fun. Alrighty. Okay, good stuff here. So upgrade here. Uh, honestly, I'm fine getting some Dark Priests, actually. Like, they're a pretty good unit, actually, all things said. Right? So Actually, Meridian doesn't even need a Supply Depot. Wow. Nice. And a Grave 6 Apparition as well. That's quite nice. Good stuff. I mean, the storms are, are coming in there, all different colors. So, well, I, I know that one unit I really want to like get is the is the swarm host. Uh, swarm host, theoses, those are really valuable units. So, yeah. Because at this stage in the game, the Melii are not as useful. Obviously, I'm not going to phase out my, my troops until I have a max supply, so... I'm not worried about it. And they, they've already maxed up the SS. It's amazing. I mean, you see my income is just completely off the chain. It's a shame that Deadman left, but he was really far behind, so it's okay. Okay, in a bad position. That's no problem. Or didn't get didn't get much here, I should say. And keep it going from there. We're doing very well, so just keep getting supply. No unit is vestigial until we're nearing 200 supplies, so. Man, this is looking good right now. My value is very high, so that's good. Big, beefy units like the Crow Goth, they are just so good and can't get enough of them.
Let's build some. Oh, yeah. You cannot make this stuff up, so. Just completing the full wall in the Krogoth here. I got no complaints, just maxing out Krogoth. Man, a freaking beef line of Krogoth. I mean, what more could you ask for, you know? A freaking beef line of Krogoth. So, I'm just going to commit to getting hybrid dominators at this point because I feel like with the remaining waves left, I will be able to max out, so I'm not worried about it. Alright, here goes. Good try. Um, yeah. Seriously, I mean, this is amazing. And again, no unit vestigial until I reach that supply cap. So. I can make all those decisions once I'm near 200 supply. For now, this wall of beef. I mean, this sheer wall of beef power here. These Krogoths holding the line up front. I love it so much. I mean, you can just see how many Krogoth there are fighting to just to get to the front of the line. All the other Krogoths healing each Krogoth. So much potential. I know I'll be able to max, so that's why I'm just sending the Dominators, because I'm not getting any more value from the Quilk or I understand my teammates needing to max, though. You see, they're not... Uh, they may not be close to max, so... The Kerrigans are going down, for sure. I mean, this wall of Krogoth is just so powerful. What I really want are Primal Swarm Hosts now, if possible. Getting Primal Swarm Hosts in particular is the best option, because they can launch from 10 range, and behind a wall of Krogoth, that is a lot of tanking. And I mean a lot of tanking, so. Amazing stuff. Not sure what it does at 100. I think it does it like releases a damage thing or something. All right. Uh, take a look at what we got here. Um, building some more teeters is a good idea. I mean, at this point, I can definitely start to phase out some towers. Because I'm saying here, like, um,. These uh these level fours are the best level fours I could get, right? So that's the logic at least. And like you can get rid of like this drama turret or something. Honestly, like this this daemon is not helping me as much here at this point, so
he's playing well, so no complaints. Um, again, in this position, very happy. Again, you can see here these highs and dongers are all attacking really well, so that's why I really like don't particularly care um, in terms of like I just want to make sure I get the best units now at this point in each rank because that's all I can do with um, the supply that's given to me at this point. So, and obviously sending these hybrid dominators is going to be huge. The waves are actually lasting a short time, um, but because of how much is processing, it feels like it's lasting longer. Does that make sense? In real life, the wave is lasting uh, a longer time because of the lag, um, but in the game, it's actually lasting shorter. You see how few sends I've got. I've only had enough gas to send two hybrid dominators this way, but in like some of the previous waves, I sent like five Quilgore or something or whatever. So it just goes to show you like the wave itself is taking less time, but it is taking longer in real life because of the lag. So let's see um, if I can get some more uh, Krogoth or especially Swarm Host. Swarm Host are really what I want here. Okay, I'm not sure what I can get here. Lord of Death. I already have maxed out range three, so I'm really not seeing anything here. Uh, these Bone Overseers are actually a pretty good choice. Um, just because of the fact that their uh, Vampiric like Leech ability is really good. It's actually good enough to justify getting rid of these Thunderbirds for now. Because they uh, they give a Vampiric uh, like a shield, basically, to all these units, which uh, is really nice. I even swapped these out for more Karen Spinners, but that's like a, a, that's like a negligible point at this point, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, you see just how many of these units are getting the Vampiric Leech, which is just so good. And uh, there's still no no unit is stepping on another unit in terms of range, which is nice. So at this point, it's really about maximizing my composition. I'm gonna have the minerals required. So. Make sure my cat Mal feels the love. Feels how loved she is. Love you, Mom. She's coming only on the on the keyboard. Are you okay? Come, 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 So it's going to be one heck of a game coming down to the finale here. Oops, sorry about that.
Apologies, I don't have any idea how long I was muted for. Um, it would have been when my beautiful cat Maul stepped in front of the mic. So, no worries, obviously. I didn't say anything of crazy value. I'd just been playing the game, so yeah, good stuff. Sad that I leaked, but in the end, actually, I think I have a good composition for this Tetra Grammaton wave or whatever, so yeah. A uh, Swarm Host would be the ideal build. If, it, if I could get a Swarm, a Beast Builder right now, it would change the stars for me for sure. No. Okay, um, so Messiah, 6 range. Matriarch is the best I can get at 6 range, so... You gotta go for it. I mean, there's like no disadvantage in not building it, so. Yeah, and then just upgrade this one to level 4 here. Again, there's not a disadvantage. Just what I'm saying is that. Also, these units are a bit redundant. Four hundred, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this could have been a lot better, um, but it's okay. Build the warden if I can. I can. So let's see how it goes. Fred says, "GG, well played." I probably should have kept the the tornado upholders are already in place because uh, there's no reason to have been under supply here. So I'm not losing supply, which is huge. I think we're actually going to win. Yeah. That's amazing. So, I don't think I lost anything, which is crazy. So, whatever I did was okay with me. The elders are really good, so we'll actually be able to tell uh, just how good they are. Here. Take a look here at one of these kills. Nothing. Okay, so we'll see, if, we'll see if the elders have any kills. So, Hung Solo gets eliminated. And, I, I again, I don't know if I've lost any supply, which is huge. Of course, they can't replenish any units they lose, so. Yeah, I didn't lose. Oh, no, I did lose something. I did lose something. So I lost some Krogoth here at the front. Can I upgrade? No, I can't. That's tough. That's tough. Okay, no worries. That's what it is. I do the best you can do. Sure are. Man. So probably the end for us here. You see that wave going out there. So I'm probably about to get eliminated. Fought hard all the way to the end here. The elders are holding up quite nicely. There they finally go down. And yeah. Man, tough. So just on Baron at this point, which is crazy. So Dead Scythe leaves, which is sad because he could have kept sending. Yeah. All right, I'll control the SS at least. I absolutely used every cooldown I could, which is huge. 
GG, we lose? What? What? How did we lose? Oh, he got defeated. Okay, that sucks. I used absolutely everything I could. Oh, man, I thought we won, too. Good game. So with that, I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.